Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thanks for watching. Let's play some more of our tutorial in Civilization 5. So we're going to go to the next turn. Ooh, Pakal has completed the Manhattan Project. So nuclear weapons are about to exist in another civilization. He still has to research nuclear fission like we do. And then he has to build bombs, but at least we are not at war with them. Portugal is now the ally of Tyre. Wow, they took Tyre from us. We have 373 influence with Tyre, and they took Tyre from us. You have got to be kidding me. So Portugal is really playing the city-state game hard, because they took Prague from us in the previous episode. And now they have taken Tyre. You jerks. Alright, we'll build a lumber mill there. Not a lot left to do. This is getting pretty crazy. Oh, those tiles need to be improved. Okay, there we go. I just found something for my workers to do. It's a freaking miracle. Okay. <laughs> so we will have the option of building a nuclear plant when nuclear fission completes but um, each nuclear plant will cost us one uranium it will give us great production Look, plus 5 production plus 15% extra happiness because, you know, less pollution from, you know, like coal power plants and such. But here's the thing. Uh, we only have six uranium. It's just, it's just not a lot. All right, Poznan will go ahead and build a... Uh... No, actually, let's, let's set up the Pentagon to be built in Warsaw. And I'll send my great engineer in Antium. up to make sure that that's built. It's going to take five turns, but that's fine. All right, medical lab in Poznan. Let's go ahead and queue some things up. In fact, military academy. Oh, okay, just those two things. So yeah, I, I don't know that we'll actually do the, um, the power plants. As much as it would help with production, we might build one in a city that really needs it. But, I mean, I'd rather save that uranium for really powerful units and atomic bombs. I would much rather have that for offensive means. Just by preference at this point. Alright, so we're by far the happiest, which means by virtue of that um, dictatorship of the proletariat uh, ideology that we we adopted a while back. We are we have additional influence over all of these cities. Wow, Hiawatha is actually unhappy right now. Over all of these civilizations, we have additional influence because they're not as happy as us. If you don't remember what I'm talking about, where am I going? Good lord, my brain is not working. All right, right here, 34% tourism to civilizations that have less happiness. So how is that affecting things? Well. See for yourself. Lots of influence. Almost at 50% influence over Portugal. Let's see Let's see how we're doing score-wise. Yeah, we're, we're beating the pants off of everyone score-wise. Okay, Eboricum. Let's build an arsenal. Followed by a hospital. Followed by a barracks. Cargo ship. What do you need done? Just to renew your trade route with Vancouver. No, you go to Cape Town instead. That's slightly more money. And then we'll go to the next turn. Three turns away from completing nuclear fission. We're in 2025 AD, and it's turn 450, so we're exactly 50 turns away from the time victory. I think there's a chance... I don't know. We're getting pretty close to the time victory. 
So it's going to be a time victory, diplomatic victory, or science victory. Science victory is not very likely because we have a lot of technologies left to research. And only 50 turns to do it. So I'm not as optimistic there. Because we have to research certain technologies to build portions of a rocket which will take our civilization to space. That's how you win a scientific victory. Actually, let me go over that real quick. So, let's go to the tech tree. These technologies here. This is the one you need to open it up. These with the white backgrounds. The SS boosters, which you have to build uh, three of them, I think. Yeah, three boosters are needed to complete the spaceship. The cockpit, and then the engine, and the stasis chamber. You need to build basically those five components. So, is, is it six actually? Yeah, it's six. Because there's three SS boosters and then three other components you need to build. And then you move them all to the same city where the Apollo program has been built. And then you build this awesome rocket and you win the science victory. It's pretty straightforward, but basically, of course, as you saw there, it requires you to research those technologies in order to get those advantages and get those, um, those spaceship parts. Oh, we had some spy information there. And I blatantly ignored it. <laughs> Setia is about to build its harbor, which means I think what I'll do is purchase a seaport in Setia to give them the bonuses that the harbor and seaport provide together. That'll help the city grow a lot faster, I think. Rome is definitely the largest city in the empire now, which is what we would want in the first place. And I still have been forgetting to buy uh, a great person. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna buy this seaport to get the extra production. You're trying to ban copper? Oh, that's hilarious. All right, I'm just gonna tell you what, I don't care about that, that ban on copper at this point. Um, maybe I'll vote one against it. Tell you what, I'll vote against it with two. Just, just to, just to, put a little bit of weight behind it, but it looks like 16, um, it looks like a bunch of delegates are, are actually against it. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it because it, it just seems like the majority of people are against that anyway. So yeah. Okay. We can repeal it if need be, but I really want that, uh, world religion vote to go through. I'm going to kill this worker because we're getting to a point where all of our tiles are improved and we don't really need the workers that we have anymore. We just don't. I know it sounds mean, but... Okay, good. Our great engineer is about to arrive in Warsaw, so we can complete the Pentagon in the next couple of turns. Nuclear fission is about to be researched, so we can start building atomic bombs. <laughs> I think one of the next technologies we'll have access to will actually allow us to build nuclear missiles, which is what I really want. Because you can put nuclear missiles on submarines. Good. So the a great writer has been born in Rome. That's good. Uh, Maria is plotting against Casimir. Share that intrigue. So the ban on copper was not passed. Portugal was the one that wanted it, but everyone else didn't like it. And then the world religion was passed. So we have 29 delegates now, despite the fact that we've had some... Um, City-states stolen from us viciously. All right, let's see. Rocketry. No, we can't quite get nuclear missiles yet. Where are nuclear missiles in here? Here they are. Advanced ballistics. Yeah, I'll go ahead and research rocketry because that's going to give us access to the uh, just some new air defenses in case anyone declares war on us and has any planes, but also it improves our artillery. Um... This is the. It, it, this is just an incredibly powerful artillery unit. It's a lot of fun to use, and of course the Apollo program. So, definitely going to make use of that. We have a great writer, so we're going to write a cultural or a political treatise, and get an insane amount of culture. And before I forget again, let me see what else we can purchase here. Purchase a lot, actually. We can purchase a great scientist with our with twenty five hundred faith. I'm kind of tempted to do that, but then again, we could do a great artist. 
In fact, we could do a couple of great artists. Okay, perfect. And in the next turn, I will use them to start an epic golden age. <laughs> His cargo ship needs to renew its trade route. Uh, not quite done yet, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's move our great general out. Move him back in. And go to the next turn. You can't have two great people in a city at one time, so I had to move the great general out to let the great engineer go in, disappear when I used his ability, and then I just moved great general back into town. What proposal are you guys talking about? They said I, they found my proposal troubling. I haven't made a proposal. We're proposing... We're going for world leader, but we're not going to win it. So I don't, I don't know why they're saying they found our proposal troubling. Maybe they're finally talking about the fact that we won for world ideology and world religion. <laughs> Ooh, one advantage that we have by having captured Warsaw. We actually have a couple of wonders that Poland beat us to. I will show you those now. So this, I'm a little bit behind in realizing this, but check this out. Wow, there's actually a lot of wonders in Warsaw. Angkor Wat, Chichen Itza, Hagia Sophia, Notre Dame, Pentagon, the Red Fort, the Temple of Artemis. Holy crap, Poland was building a lot of wonders, and they had gotten a lot of them. So the length of our Golden Ages, that's why they've been so long, is because we got Chichen Itza. We got the cultural bonuses. We got the happiness bonus from Notre Dame. This is just... And of course... The Red Fort, defensive buildings in all cities are 25% more effective. Kind of puts in perspective on how easily we came in and took their cities, knowing that they had that, doesn't it? All right, so let's start a Golden Age. And then start another Golden Age. So now we have 24 turns of Golden Age to look forward to. And I'm going to kill this worker. It's giving us a lot of gold back each turn. We're just going to have the Great General sleep. Uh, Warsaw is done building. But I can build nukes. <laughs> so we're going to build an atomic bomb in Warsaw. Ooh, Setia has a lot of stuff to queue up, so hang on a second. So let's maybe start with... Stock exchange. Okay, there's the queue. And then opera house, constabulary, zoo, public school, and hotel. I really wish Setia was a little bit faster right now. Are they not on production focus? Is that the issue? No, they're on production focus. Is anyone else not on production focus aside from Rome? Mediolanum is not. All right, so let's put them on production focus. Get some additional science points, please. I'm just looking at the technologies we researched recently to make sure that I'm not missing out on any buildings that I want to build. The only one that we gained access to recently was the nuclear power plant. All right, Sophia is happy with us for building the Pentagon. Ha! We got another great artist just by virtue of filling up the great... Uh, basically this. We had a great people... Um, one of these bars. <laughs> a great artist bar was filled up in Rome. So we have another great artist. We're going to use them too. So we have 35 turns of Golden Age, which is just awesome. We're going to build a farm there. Now we're going to adopt a policy. Plus one gold for each harbor, seaport, or lighthouse, and plus four production and plus four culture in the city with the East India Company. I guess I need to build the East India Company, don't I? Yeah. We're going to go for that. Brought in, looks like, another 60 gold, which is nice. And then I guess we will build the East India Company in Rome. Next turn.
All right. 2028 AD. Closing in on just 40 turns away from the time victory. Portuguese coup in Yerevan. Okay, so they are just... Oh, crap. Maria finally made a move. She's taken over the Songhai capital. Should we go to their defense? Should we? Should we march on their territory? I think we should. I think we should liberate the Songhai capital. I think we should save them. And that's what we're going to do. Just because not much is happening, that gives us something to do. A great engineer has been, uh, been built in the city of... Where was that? Arpinum? Yes. Great. Alright, cool. So we need to move. Alright, let's get a unit there. 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 I'm going to move all these units down. We're just going to... We're going to have a big old fight with Maria over Gao. Because what just happened is not acceptable. So you get to see what it looks like when you liberate a city. At this point, those of you who have been playing along with the series, you've probably done some stuff on your own. Unless you've just been watching before you started your own game. Which is perfectly acceptable as well. Alright, so Yerevan, we have been ousted there. We also need to build up some additional influence elsewhere. Let's go ahead and give Tyre. Are you serious? They have so much influence over Tyre. It's absolutely insane. It's almost a waste of my money to continue trying to get Tyre. What about Prague? Of course, that was only 10 influence. So yeah, Maria's actually doing a pretty good job of playing the city-state game. She probably has patronage. We do too, of course, but she probably has some patronage technologies adopted. Or um, ideologies, social policies, whatever, adopted that allow her to have a bit more um, influence over these civs. It's annoying, to be completely honest. All right, we're going to have this great engineer just sleep. This caravan is going to keep trading with Rome. All right, so looks like Askia has actually made peace with Maria, which is good. They're not fighting anymore. All right, Cesar, Declaration of Peace. All right, there we go. Our Declaration of Peace had expired, so we renewed that. Let's go to the next turn. We have a number of units moving in. As soon as... All right, we're going to tell Maria to get over it. She's pissing me off at this point. We're going to push back against her hard. We actually have a couple of options. You know, when we take Gao, we could take it for ourselves, or we could liberate it. We're going to liberate it. We're going to, we're going to let the Songhai have it back. Um, but then we might continue our war a little bit. All right, so Portuguese, a Portuguese army is uh, is building up, but we don't know for what purpose. That's what that notification was telling us. All right, I'm being more aggressive towards Maria now. I don't care if I piss her off. Okay, the Iroquois want an embassy. Maybe they're happy with the fact that I'm starting to give them trouble. Oh, hey, look. There's a ruin that is actually in our territory now, so we can take advantage of that. I will build a um, archaeologist and send them up that way. We'll do that in Antium. All right, 
So there's that. Looks like we can build the Apollo program. So we'll go ahead and do that in Rome. And then Warsaw is... Yeah, we're going to definitely need some more atomic bombs. So let's do one more because we're about to go to war. We're not going to nuke Gao, but we might actually... Um, I don't know if the atomic... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to cancel that. I would rather save my uranium for something else. So, come on. Just have Warsaw be a research city. Choose research. Let's do computers so that we can build a great firewall and reduce enemy spy effectiveness. You've accumulated enough faith to purchase a unit or building. Oh, really? Ooh, great rider. Definitely. So we use him in the next turn to get some additional culture. You are the first civilization to achieve a culture that is influential with another player. Awesome. So let's have a look at our victory then. Looks like, yep, we're influ influential over Songhai. Not surprising because they only have one city left. Um, so that's very, very useful. But I will go ahead and cut this episode here for now, and then we will start moving on Maria. Looks like we're going to end this series on a bit of a climactic note. Um, I, I don't know exactly when the series will end. We're moving towards, we're only 40 turns away now from um, uh, time victory. But, uh, you know, I want to liberate Gao. Uh, you know, we've, we've been allies with the Songhai since the dawn of time, pretty much. So it's not cool that Maria just did that. We're going to free that city. They have eight turns um, that it's going to be in resistance. So they're not, they're not going to be able to do anything useful with it in the meantime. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to focus on that and then probably um, have some nuclear submarines launch some missiles from this direction and do a lot of damage. So she's going to regret everything that she's done. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in the Civ 5 tutorial every day at noon Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT-4, for those of you not in the States. As always, comments are welcome. Again, thank you for being here, and I'll see you next episode.